Hello everyone, I'm building a Facebook clone using only WordPress, the Bloxy theme, and the GreenShift plugin. Initially, I planned to use Elementor, but I realized that even Elementor Pro lacks basic features like a wishlist or bookmark function. I'm referring to this feature here. You'll find the link to the Facebook clone in the description below. You can use it to follow along with this video. Now let's say I want to bookmark or add something to a wishlist here. Elementor doesn't support this natively, and I, I would have had to install an additional plugin, which would have added more bloat to Elementor, making the site heavy and sluggish. That's why I turned to GreenShift. And trust me, GreenShift is one of the most powerful page builders out there, not just within the WordPress ecosystem, but in general. Everything you see here, or almost everything, was built with GreenShift. This header, for instance, combines GreenShift with the Bloxy theme. The Facebook style story section is the only part not built with GreenShift, but with a little time, I could recreate something similar using GreenShift. The idea behind building this face Facebook clone came from an NGO that contacted me a few months ago. They needed a platform for their adolescent female empowerment program. The goal was to create a safe space where young girls and vulnerable individuals could share their problems and receive guidance from counselors. The NGO also wanted AI integration, meaning an AI chat feature that could provide advice. It was a fascinating project that sparked the idea of what the future of blogging might look like. Right now, it feels like traditional blogging is dying. Personally, I believe the only way forward for bloggers is to build communities around their content. The old ways of blogging aren't coming back. There's no surviving this AI takeover without adapting. Bloggers need to create communities centered around the topics they cover. I considered options like BuddyPress, Peepso, and other popular community plugins, but the user experience was poor. I also looked into Fluent Community, but it's quite a closed system. You can't query posts, users, uh, or other data easily. For example, what you're looking at here is actually a WooCommerce product. I could have used a regular WordPress post, but I chose WooCommerce because I can easily add an add to cart button and make the post orderable, something that would just be a regular post on Facebook. This is a product. That's the power of GreenShift. I often talk about Bloxy because it's now somewhere between a full site editing FSE theme and a classic theme. You can do so much with Bloxy. For example, this header was designed with GreenShift, but the hook that places it comes from Bloxy. Now, if you're currently exploring this Facebook clone, you might click on this section expecting a form to appear so you can type a post. When you click it, it should take you to another community I've built using Fluent Community. In fact, everything I'm doing with Fluent Community here could be replicated using just GreenShift and Bloxy. But I chose Fluent Community for comparison purposes. As I mentioned, this project was inspired by the NGO's requirements. And honestly, there's no way Fluent Community alone could fulfill those. Fluent Community is limited in that you can't add or remove much. You're stuck with whatever it gives you. So uh, let's say this area represents the community I created for the NGO. I could have added a form right here where users can type and submit their posts. Regarding the AI integration, let's imagine an adolescent shares her story. This is her title, this is the body of the post, and here's the image. Other community members can like the post, share it, and leave comments. I could have made this a pop-up, but I opted for a detailed page instead. For this page, I could have gone with a Facebook-like design, but I chose a cleaner, simpler layout. Users can leave their comments right here. Let's assume this is the detail view of a post on the NGO's platform. You have the title, the main content, an image, and a comment section. With AI integration, I could embed an AI chatbot right here, so users reading the story can ask something like, what's your best advice regarding the situation? You get the idea. This sort of functionality isn't possible with Fluent Community, but with a page builder, I can easily create this section and insert a shortcode. The NGO's project gave me this idea, and I truly believe this could be the future of blogging. You create content and then build a community around it. Otherwise, blogging is dead. SEO is no longer reliable. AI has taken over. So your focus should be on building a loyal reader base and keeping them engaged through community features. 
You can then monetize through subscriptions or ads, because if users get value from your community, they'll keep coming back. Otherwise, blogging won't survive. Let's look at the mobile version now. It looks really good. Here's the mobile version. I can easily convert this into a mobile app. The link to this platform is in the description below. Very soon, we'll add a feature that converts websites to apps using AI. Check out the platform um, if you're interested in that. It's completely free, though it will have some premium features as well. It should be ready in about a week. I also have some great news for you. I'll be sharing free website templates. Here are a few examples. Let me show you quickly. You'll notice that the default login and navigation elements in WordPress, even the ones from premium plugins, are not very professional looking. They often feel outdated. So I've decided to create and share many website templates, not just for login pages, but across different categories. Lately, I've been focusing on mobile-friendly website templates with an app-like experience. For example, when a user clicks here, a pop-up appears prompting them to log in. They can enter their username and password and log in easily. It's all about enhancing user experience. If they want to go back, they simply click this arrow. Click to open. Click to close. There's also a search feature. They can type in anything they're looking for. That's the goal to enhance user experience. Now for the cart, you can click to open the cart. At the moment, there are no products in it, but if there were, they'd show up here. Click here to go to the home page, and this icon takes you to the wish list. Speaking of the wish list, I meant to make it a pop-up, but forgot. I'll take care of that later. Still, it feels great, and it's all centered on user experience. If users don't have a smooth experience on your site, they'll leave. Let's check out the rest. As you can see, I've added beautifully designed social login options. You can log in with Facebook, Apple, or Google. This significantly improves user experience. Here, you can just click to download any of these templates. To download one, simply click the Download Template button here or here. I hope this template helps with your project. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and keep coming back for more. I'll be releasing a lot of templates, so... Stay connected, uh, keep checking the channel and website for all this free content.